is uh, six and a half percent of the federal. And it's not in front. We made it in front of it last year. We hope you'll help us get the message out to working families in Iowa. It's a refundable credit now. And if they didn't apply for it last year because they paid no income tax, they should apply for it this year because this year it's refundable. We do have a, a taxpayer assistance number, one uh, 800 I'm sorry, we didn't put this in the release. one 800 367 3388. That's a way to talk with a, a tax person at our Department of Revenue. And again, um, 64,000 Iowa families uh, have access to this early income tax credit that's going to be increased and be refundable. Yeah, I would just like to add when we're talking about the taxes, I think the other part we need to remember too is that approximately 400, over 400,000 Iowans are going to see a significant reduction in their uh, taxes this year with the Social Security and Pension Exclusion tax or Retirement Tax that uh, we passed uh, back a couple of years ago. Um, right now, about people over 65 see a 32% uh, decrease in that in their taxes, and it, they aren't paying anything on $18,000 or less if they're finding singly $24,000 jointly. So between that and what we're doing with what Senator Grunstall said, we felt like we we're we're doing a lot to uh, hold the line on taxes. Uh, Senator Kibbe. Well, as all you know, the minimum wage, uh, last half of that went into effect January 1st, and, uh, and uh, many folks still want to pay people more than that. But we still hear from employers that, well, you raise minimum wage, cost you know, me more money to operate. Uh, we get that money out there for people to buy, to buy food and not pay for this gasoline cost. And I think, too, that the, you know, the federal government in a bipartisan way is trying to address this issue, and, and, and I think that we as state legislators in a bipartisan way ought to help support them get that out, get the money out here as, as, uh, as quick as possible. And uh, I believe I was in better shape than maybe some other parts of the country. And uh, so we need to be a player. But minimum wage and low income tax credit issues that we've already dealt with are going to our big help. Just we're seeing some really uh, exciting things in the area of job creation as well. I want to highlight a, a couple of bills that we did last year that's uh, starting to have some effect. The first is the targeted industries bill uh, that was floor managed by Representative Roger Thomas on the House side. Uh, <clears throat> there, and I just visited with the Department of Economic Development a few moments ago. There's uh, several indications that there's going to be tremendous job creation, high-tech, high-wage jobs as a result of that piece of legislation, which was uh, a movement towards fulfilling uh, some of the Battelle report recommendations. An example is one in Elkader, uh, Iowa, uh, that looks to uh, add several hundred jobs, and it's a company called Sensor, S-E-N-S-R, and they have developed accelerator-ometers, I think is how it's pronounced, I can't spell it, uh, but accelerator-ometers. What they are is, is extremely sensitive motion sensors. And you know, if you have one of these iPhones, you turn it sideways, the screen shifts, that's a form of a motion sensor. But they've developed motion sensors for infrastructure, particularly bridges. And uh, the market, they say, is tremendous. So the, they think that they can move into be the nation's leader, uh, leading seller of these devices uh, based in Al-Qaeda Iowa. So we're looking at a major expansion from what was three people uh, to several hundred employees. And that's exciting. Also, uh, the film bill that we passed last year, uh, try to, uh, again, take outside the box as it relates to uh, high-tech, high-wage jobs. Uh, that was floor managed by Representative Mark Davitt, and we've uh, seen the announcement a few months ago that Grass Wars Entertainment, who has done work on Star Wars, Clone Wars, the Cartoon Network, um, several other uh, uh, sorts of uh, children's programming, they're moving their entire national headquarters from California to Iowa. We have yet to settle on the location, but those are two examples of some bills that we did last year that you know, it's not just renewable energy, and we have a strong focus on that, but it's other areas as well that we're focusing on that are going to uh, create high-tech, high-wage jobs moving forward. So that's exciting. Uh, questions? What are you going to do next week? What was the question? What are we going to do next week? Next week, we will get down to work in earnest in our budget subcommittee's uh, charter room this week. We'll get down to earnest next week. Our, our usual session schedule, uh, and so we'll have subcommittees in the morning, we'll have committees in the afternoon. We have strongly encouraged our members to move uh, their priority bills out of the committee as quickly as possible. Uh, so 
next week will be a lot of community activity and beginning the process of evaluating the budget recommendations of the budget. Do you expect any, uh, what's the path from our growth? Um, and is it, uh, how are we going to deal with that? We're going to pass them along the growth report. Is, that, is anything going to happen with that? Uh, yeah, I think it will be coming out of the House Education Committee uh, next week. And uh, because of our the way our schedule is set up on our ability to debate the bills, we'll probably be debating it the week after next on the floor. But we will probably be bringing it out of the committee next week. And it'll be 4%? Uh, uh, yeah, 4%. That's right. And how much is 4%? It's right around that. Round, round numbers, 100 round million. million. Yeah. Round numbers. Round, but that, yeah. that obviously, uh, uh, it's adjusted by how much property values are and how it's traditionally. 4% been, I think last year it was originally estimated at about 107 million. Usually the estimate's a little higher than the actual cost when it's all said and done. Round numbers 100 million. And you're okay with that, I don't care. Yes. And that's about 45 million in property taxes. Um, 40, 40 to 45, yeah. Senate or the governor's office at that point. 